Radio Activity Part 1 The discovery of radioactivity was purely accidental. It was discovered by French physicist A. H. Becquerel in 1896. Becquerel was working on the phenomenon of fluorescence. Fluorescence is the ability of certain substances to transform incident ultraviolet radiation into visible light. He had kept the collection of various minerals required for his studies, which remained untouched for a long period of time. The minerals were kept in a box which also contained several unopened boxes of photographic plates which were wrapped in thick black paper. When Becquerel used one of the plates and developed them, he found them badly fogged, as if they were exposed to some light. The other plates kept in the box were also damaged. Becquerel could not understand the reason behind it. He performed a series of experiments. He used two light tight boxes in which he arranged one of the minerals, pitch blend, uranium ore, and a photographic plate. In one box, the uranium ore and the photographic plate were kept in contact with each other, while in the other box they were separated by thin sheets of aluminium. The results of the experiment indicated that the photographic plates were affected due to the radiations emitted by the uranium ore in both the boxes. Becquerel also performed this experiment in the presence of sunlight, but it had no influence on the action of the uranium ore. He continued his research with different compounds of uranium and found that irrespective of the chemical and physical conditions such as temperature and pressure radiations were emitted by uranium he named these newly discovered radiations as becquerel rays later the term was changed to radioactivity several substances with atomic number greater than 83 give out such radiations Nuclei of the radioactive substances are generally unstable and can undergo an internal change ejecting particles and electromagnetic radiations thus we can define radioactivity as the self disintegrating spontaneous activity in the form of emission of radiations by some unstable nuclei with atomic number greater than 83 radioactivity is essentially a nuclear phenomenon and the radiations can penetrate easily through thick substances radioactive substances usually emit three kinds of radiations alpha radiations beta radiations and gamma radiations place a small quantity of radioactive material in a deep cavity of a thick block of lead this arrangement is to isolate a narrow beam of radiation coming out of the cavity also the radiations coming in all other directions will be absorbed by lead when a strong magnetic field is applied at right angles the beam splits into three distinct components in the magnetic field radiations which deflect to the left are positively charged particles alpha particles those which deflect to the right are negatively charged beta particles and the ones which pass undeflected are neutral radiations called gamma rays similarly when an electric field is applied alpha and beta particles are found to bend towards negative and positive plates respectively while the gamma rays are found to be undeviated from the path 
An alpha particle consists of two protons and two neutrons. It is identical to helium atom, which is double ionized. The mass of an alpha particle is four times the mass of a proton and its charge is two times the charge of the proton. By virtue of mass and charge, alpha particles ionize the gases intensely than the other particles through which they pass. The speed of alpha particles in the air is of the order of 10 raised to 7 meters per second. However, the speed of all alpha particles need not be the same, even though the source of emission is the same. Alpha particles have a smaller penetrating power as compared to beta particles and gamma radiations. When deflected by electric and magnetic fields, an alpha particle shows less deflection as compared to beta particles. This is because alpha particles are heavier. A beta particle is an electron. It originates in the nucleus and moves very fast. The mass and charge of a beta particle is equivalent to the mass and charge of an electron. Beta particles ionize the gases through which they pass. Their ionizing power is less than alpha particles but more than gamma rays. The speed of beta particles is of the order of 10 raised to 8 meter per second, but less than the speed of light, that is, less than 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. The speed of all beta particles emitted from the same radioactive nucleus need not be the same. The penetrating power of beta particles is more than that of alpha particles, but less than that of gamma rays. Since beta particles are lighter, their deflection in magnetic and electric fields is large. Beta particles affect photographic plates and produce scintillations on a fluorescent material. Beta particles can cause radiation damage and thus the radioactive source should be kept in a lead container. Gamma rays are electromagnetic radiations. The wavelengths are shorter than those of X-rays. Being electromagnetic radiations, gamma rays travel with the speed of light. Ionizing power of gamma rays is very low as compared to that of alpha and beta particles, while the penetrating power is more than that of alpha and beta particles. In magnetic and electric fields, gamma rays remain unaffected. Gamma rays also affect photographic plates and produce scintillations when they strike a fluorescent material. Gamma rays can easily pass through the human body and destroy cells. Hence they are used in cancer treatment to kill cancer cells.